Good evening and welcome to the 2019-2020 Night of Celebration. We are celebrating our stars while virtual distancing. We have quite an exciting program planned for you. We wish that we could be face-to-face -face at the Leon County Civic Center, but we're gonna celebrate virtually this evening. And with that being said, it is an honor, pleasure, and privilege to introduce the chair of the Leon County School Board, none other than Ms. Didi Rasmussen. Good evening, everyone. It is such an honor to be able to be with you. I hate that we can't be there in person. This is one of my favorite nights of the year, and it has been a year, hasn't it? We've had so many uh, challenges and opportunities to prove our resilience and our ability to pivot and to um, make, you know, not, uh, to, to uh, I started to say to make mountains out of molehills, but I think we did the opposite. And um, so I, as the chair of the board, I could not be more proud and honored to be a part of celebrating you, the people who make our district work every day, the educators who are being recognized tonight, the folks who are retiring this year, um, wow, what a year you chose to go out on a bang. Um, the school-related employees and the teachers of the year and all who would ordinarily be seated uh, table after table, person after person in a beautiful room decorated in the, in the Civic Center uh, by our committed and dedicated administrators who appreciate and love all of you. And I am just so thankful. This year, probably more than any other year for all that you have done to make this year a success in spite of every obstacle thrown your way. Um, I was asked to share a thought for the day and I was looking for one from, and if you haven't read it, I recommend uh, um, Dr. Brene Brown's book called Rising Strong, although I think each of you have your own story about how you have risen strong this year. Um, but one of the quotes in her book is, to the brave and brokenhearted, who have taught us how to rise after a fall. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. courage is contagious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that your courage is contagious. Your courage as teachers and educators and all the people who help our system work through this pandemic have been, your courage has been contagious to our parents. Your empathy and passion and motivation and persistence and not giving up on families who are struggling to try to educate their children from home and work from home and juggle multiple either elder parents who came home or kids who came home from college or sisters and brothers squabbling and all the things that we normally handle during the day or you normally handle. Um, you have been just out, I, well, my, my uh, colleague, Daryl Jones likes to say, you have made us deliciously proud, and it is true. I am just honored to be a part of this system, uh, even from a distance tonight, to thank you and honor you. It is because of you that we've been a success this year and every year, and for that, I am humbled and grateful. Uh, thank you for your leadership, for your passion, for your commitment, for your love, for your kids and your students. I know I heard from so many teachers about how you were missing your kids this year. You really were missing your babies, even the high school kids. <laughs> and so for that, I just want to give my hat off to those of you who have been called to this beautiful profession. Um, you may have heard me say this before. Another one of my favorite writers says that life is both beautiful and brutal, and she calls it brutiful. Uh, <laughs> this has been a brutiful year. You all have overcome some brutal circumstances and made it beautiful. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Rasmussen. I know we put our board chair on the, on the spot. We had our student school board member, Aperva Stravastava, that was going to give a thought for the day, but he had trouble logging on with his device. And that's why we're all so excited about our big announcement earlier this week about devices for every one of our students. Um, and thank you, Ms. Rasmussen, for help making that happen. But to, to her point, I, I'm honored to serve as superintendent of schools. I've been with our school system 30, 32 years, started as a hall monitor at Leon, and then a teacher and a coach and a dean. And now to finish my career as superintendent is certainly a dream come true and quite an honor. But 
y'all are the ones that do the heavy lift. Y'all are the ones that are the wind, the wind beneath everyone's wings, especially our children. And we are so grateful and thankful for all that you have done uh, this year to save, uh, to save the year, basically. And you turned on a dime, you pivoted, and we kept on doing what we do and educate our children. Yes, it's been very different. Uh, we would all love to be in the in the Tucker Center right now, celebrating and hooting and hollering. And, uh, but unfortunately, right now we just can't do that. But we did not want to let the school year pass without at least doing something to recognize our Teacher of the Year, our Glenn Howard Distinguished Educator of the Year, our School Related Employee of the Year, and then most importantly, all of the retirees who have given the vast majority of their life to service of others, and most importantly, the service of our children. And so it's an honor to be able to present uh, tonight, this evening, Dr. Cox and, and Sue Crawl will be announcing the, the school-based winners and nominees, and then we'll go into the, to the meat of the program. But we also, with, it, with everything, we have sponsors that made the, tonight happen. And so our uh, sponsors, our premier sponsor, as always, is Envision, Envision Credit Union. Uh, why don't we, uh, I think there's some remarks to be made by uh, Envision sponsor, Mr. CEO, Mr. Daryl Worrell, here in a minute when I finish, but thank you to Envision Credit Union. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be a part of Leon County Schools Night of Celebration. We recognize how difficult it must have been to transition at the, toward the end of a school year to a completely new way of teaching and not be able to say goodbye to your students, your parents, your teammates in, in a normal way. And the way that you've adapted this year to provide the type of learning that's still very much needed is very admirable. And we're very proud of what you've accomplished this past year. Last year, as you know, we continue to provide support for the backpack program and other initiatives. And last year's total was over $249,000 in support of students and educators. No one gives back more to education than Envision Credit Union. Although the past two and a half months have looked different for us all, and the way that you've adapted, we wanted to try to adapt as well. So we reached out to the school system and we wanted to help in what you were trying to do with uh, distance learning. So we were able to provide an additional $15,000 for computers. We sponsored the high school graduations differently than we've done in the past. And tonight we wanna to make sure that we're recognizing your efforts. So each finalist will receive a $250 gift card and the top three winners will receive a $500 gift card. So congratulations to you all on a wonderful year, a different year, but boy, was it impactful. We'd also like to thank each of you for all that you've done this past year to invest in education and the lives of your students and parents. We applaud your success and we thank you for your commitment to Leon County Schools. And you have our commitment. We're gonna always be here for you. Our business model of supporting members, supporting education, supporting community needs, we believe is truly needed now more than ever. And the neat thing is, all our members have to do is use our products and services. So we're committed to continuing to do that. I'm gonna encourage each and every one of you to continue to do what you're doing, and together we'll make a, a giant difference in the lives of students. Thank you so much again. Congratulations to all the winners and thank you so much for what you do on a daily basis. All right, thank, thank you, Susan. So they were our premier sponsor, uh, Envision Credit Union and Dara Worrell. And I've been a member of, of that bank well before it was Envision Credit Union. I think it was North Florida Education and Credit Union years and years ago when I, I had about $20 in my bank account as a young, as a young teacher. But we have executive sponsors, Allstate Construction Company, President Scott Brewer, the Foundation for Leon County Schools, and uh, our director, Eric Clark. JV & Sons, also known as McDonald's, and their owner-operator, and we have some exciting news, so don't leave after your name's called. Uh, and they have some, some, uh, some prizes for our winners tonight. And their owner-operator, Raphael Vasquez, our gold sponsors, uh, Focus School Software, Director of Operations for Focus School Software is Stephen uh, Harnoe. 
Ram Construction and their CFO, Paul Gleesman. Capital Health Plan, their Director of Sales and Account Management is Mark Hicks. Florida State University College of Education, Dean uh, Damon Andrew and Florida State Teacher Education Director, Sherry Sutherland. And then Florida Blue uh, with David uh, Santa, Specialty Sportswear and Promotion with Mark Solomon and David Farron. And then the Florida Lottery, our silver sponsors, Lively Technical College, Director Shelley Bell, Clemens Rutherford and Associates, President William Rutherford, and Herf, Herf Jones, we just finished all of our graduations, Herf Jones with Brad, Brad Maxwell. And again, a big thank you and shout out to our team for putting this together. Uh, Susan Mayfield, Dr. Michelle Gale organizing this, Ms. Coffey, everyone that's behind the scenes to, to make tonight uh, a, a success in honoring uh, those individuals who have gone above and beyond and be recognized by their peers there this evening. And, and finally to our re retirees, and it was kind of funny, I, I signed up for DROP uh, here several, a couple of months ago, and it was really bittersweet. It seems like what happened to that 26-year-old that kid that was teaching American history and government at Godby, and man, the years just seem to fly by, but I just want to personally thank you for all that you've done uh, over the many years and, and touched really thousands and thousands of young lives, uh, it, whether it's in the classroom or out of the classroom. And uh, we have an amazing school system, but it's because of our employees and people like you that make it so very special. So as a token of our appreciation, we have these big golf um umbrellas uh, that we'd like to give you. And I'll make some other announcements at the, at the end of the ceremony about a little drive through uh, event that we want to have with you guys here in a, in a couple of weeks. But again, to our, to our retirees, congratulations and best, best of luck to, your, to the next chapter of, of your life. And we have, may it bring you nothing but uh, joy and happiness. So with that, I'm going to turn it over back to Dr. Gale and let's get this party started. Start recognizing some of our amazing employees. All right, so Dr. Gale, you're on, you're on mute. Got it. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Coffey. Just came in to tell me and Superintendent Hannah, hopefully you can hear me now. Thank you for your words of encouragement and our school board chair, Dee Dee Rasmussen. Dr. Alan Cox is waiting to be promoted to a panelist and he's going to be reading out some names, but, but until we get him on, I'd like to congratulate the finalists for the 2020 Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Kimberly Sherman from Astoria Park Elementary School. We have Wendy Chen from Amos P. Godby High School, Mary Jo Pelletier from Frank Hartsfield Elementary School, and finally, Dr. Benny Bolden Jr. from R. Frank Nems Middle School. Congratulations to our finalists for the Glenn Howell um, Distinguished Educator of the Year. Once again, Dr. Alan Cox will be with us shortly. He's waiting to be promoted as a panelist so he can read out the names. We're gonna continue with the 2020 School-Related Employee of the Year finalists. Congratulations to Ms. Linda Sessions from Astoria Park Elementary School. Ms. Henrietta Pralachala, I probably just butchered that, I'm sorry, from Gretchen Everhart School. Ms. Kathleen Pester from Killarne Lakes Elementary School, and none other than Ms. Daisy Smith from John G. Riley Elementary School. Congratulations to our finalists for the School-Related Employee of the Year. And continuing, again, Dr. Cox will be with us shortly with the 2020 Teacher of the Year finalists. Congratulations to Ms. Leanne Hewitt from Springwood Elementary School, Ms. Joyce Madsen from William J. Mumford Middle School, Ms. Sherry Lawrence from Killarne Lakes Elementary School, and Mr. Josh Stewart from Leon High School. Congratulations to our finalists. And we'll continue with the program naming our top award winners. Congratulations for the Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, none other than Dr. Jasmine Smith from Oak Ridge Elementary School. Congratulations, Dr. Smith. 
Our school related employee of the year for the 2020 school year is none other than Sheila Rains from Sable Palm Elementary School. Congratulations, Ms. Rains. And finally, our Leon County Schools Teacher of the Year for the 2019-2020 school year is Trakia White from Augusta Raw Middle School. Congratulations to all of our finalists and our winners for the Leon County School System. We're gonna continue with our program now. It's my honor and pleasure to turn it over to Dr. Alan Cox and Mrs. Sue Crawl. From Adult and Community Education, I'm proud to recognize Regina Browning, the Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Travis Jones, Teacher of the Year, Heather Beasley, School Related Employee of the Year, and retiree Charles Greenwell. From Appalachie Tapestry Magnet School of the Arts, congratulations to Shayla Lightfoot Brown, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Kimberly McKiernan, Teacher of the Year, Sharon Bradwell, School Related Employee of the Year, and retiree Russell Gardner. From Astoria Park Elementary School, Kimberly Sherman, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Beth Ray, Teacher of the Year, Linda Session, School Related Employee of the Year, and retiree Lenore Lacasio. From Bond Elementary School, Andre Farkason, School Related Employee of the Year, Shanita Grayson, Teacher of the Year, Carrie Ann Washington, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, and retirees Alice Bates. Marlene Mio and Marion Will, uh, sorry, Marion Phillips. From Buck Lake Elementary School, Brenda Oschlager, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Candace Duclos, Teacher of the Year, Gregory McNair, School Related Employee of the Year, and retiree Patricia Lapete. From Canopy Oaks Elementary School, Tracy Malone, School Related Employee of the Year, Holly Persino, Teacher of the Year, Jake Harai, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, and retirees Patricia Hooper, Laura Joannis, and Deborah Raz. From Chairs Elementary School, Janine Hall, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Nancy Long Teacher of the Year, Dasmin Henderson School Related Employee of the Year, and retiree Julianne Thompson. From Lawton Childs High School, Ronaldo Davis, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Paige Teckel, Teacher of the Year, Lamont Williams, School Related Employee of the Year, and retirees James Sparaza and Jean Tucker. From Elizabeth Cobb Middle School, Casey Yu, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, and Cynthia Osborne, Teacher of the Year. From Computer Operations, retiree Linda Kinlaw. J. Michael Conley Elementary at Southwood, Elizabeth Calhoun, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Megan Dawkins, Teacher of the Year, and Joya Jefferson, School Related Employee of the Year, and retiree Pam Jamison. From Deer Lake Middle School, Bobby Angry, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, J. Travis Lightfoot, Teacher of the Year, Amber Floyd, School Related Employee of the Year, and retirees Paula Miller, Susan Snyder, and Barbara Watkins. From DeSoto Trail Elementary School, Peter Marti, 
Glenn Howell Recognized Educator of the Year. Sorry, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year. Janet Childers, Teacher of the Year, and Tanya Davis, School-Related Employee of the Year. From Distributed Services and Network, Retiree Michael Frazier. Early Childhood Programs, Retirees Gwen Butler and Barbara Cherry. Exceptional Student Education, Retiree, Connie Haverty. Facilities and Construction, Retiree, Karen Grow. Fairview Middle School, Nancy Navarez Garcia, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Lee Cameron, Teacher of the Year, Alvin White, School-Related Employee of the Year, and retirees, George Eckerly, Martha Kasaya, and Richard Kitchen. From Financial Services, retiree, Janice Wanch. Florida Diagnostic and Learning Resources System, or Fiddlers, retirees, Robin Petrick and Elizabeth Williams. Fort Braden School, Michelle Pletch, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Katie Bennett, Teacher of the Year, and Karen Willett, School-Related Employee of the Year. And now it's uh, time for a presentation from Calla McNamara, the FSU opening nights. Take it away, Ms. McNamara. Um, well, before we go, um, I kind of have a little something to tell you but it's uh -oh. going to require that you close your eyes because it's a little surprise. Okay. All and right. Count to three and on three, you will open your eyes and right. that'll be exciting. Okay. Close gotcha. them. Keep them closed. You're making me nervous. I love that. <laughs> okay. On three. One, two, three. Well, hey, hey, those are people that I know. Uh oh, am I in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> no, we just wanted some friends here to congratulate you on being our 2020 Arts Advocate winner. Whoa! Congratulations. Yes, yes congratulations, yes, 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 Dr. Yes, yes. Small. Well, right. I was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got me, you got me, you got me, you got me. I was hoping this wasn't something about I, I had to do something different for next year. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of that going around. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right, look at these faces. I miss these faces here. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> truly appreciate it, truly appreciate Congratulations. it. This Congratulations. Is, this is the heart and soul behind the movement. So uh, we could not do what we do without um, these faces and these individuals that are represented here. I mean, this is why we do what we do. And so, um, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, well, and, from the standpoint of opening nights, we appreciate you and your entire team and everything you do for your students to make them members of our community in the cultural standpoint, from the cultural standpoint, to become citizens like you want them to be. We're here for you. We will support everything that you are trying to do from the standpoint of the public education, from our program. We're here for you. Thank you so much. And like I said, these, these individuals that are represented, my staff, I mean, our, our staff is dynamic. And every day when I walk on that campus, it's you know, looking at ways that we can help support them. Um, and they are very good at being vocal about their needs and what they would like to see happen. And then because my job is to make it happen. And so whether it's finding the resources, finding the money, um, or, or uh, finding um, access to, to students and parents that can kind of help support us, we do it because of them. And so thank you all for um, uh, selecting me for one, but also allowing me to be uh, the person that my staff needs me to be to keep pushing forward um, to make sure their programs are solid um, and are equipping students to be successful in the future. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
thank you. Continuing with our recognitions from Gilcrest Elementary School, we have Gigi Moore, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Allison Richards Teacher of the Year, Rachel Kennedy School Related Employee of the Year, and retirees Mary Chapman and George Edwards Jr. And I'll take it from here, Ms. Kroll. Thank you so much for filling in while I have a technical glitch there. Special shout out to Dr. Small. We're so proud of you, Chris, for that. Godby High School, uh, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator, Wendy Chan, Teacher of the Year, Susan Barano, and School Related Employee of the Year, Karen Thomas. From Gretchen Everhart School, Latoya Montgomery, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Brenda Rice, Teacher of the Year, Henrietta Candy Pishala, School Related Employee of the Year, and retiree Jacqueline Pittman. Griffin Middle School, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator, Sandra Wilkerson, Teacher of the Year, Nikki Nicol Nicholas, School Related Employee of the Year, Lester Thomas, Retirees, Marilyn Bentley Carter and Ronald Lang. Hartsfield Elementary School, Mary Jo Peltier, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Erica Jenkins, Teacher of the Year, Tasha Jackson, School Related Employee of the Year, and retirees, Wendy Davis, Tyrone Givens, and Robin Krause. Hawks Rise Elementary School, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator, Jacoby Ingram. Teacher of the Year, Brittany Hutto. School Related Employee of the Year, Barry Hoff. And retirees, Deborah Dawson, Arlene Dye, Evie Friend, Eddie Go Golden, and Marianne Smiley. From Heritage Trails Community School, Frederick Mondellas, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Moses Johnson, Teacher of the Year, and Brittany Ford, School Related Employee of the Year. From Human Resources, Retiree, Sue Christie and Carmelisa Crosby Harley. Kate Sullivan Elementary School, Gia Gallen, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Caitlin Maloney, Teacher of the Year. Brandon Wallace, School Related Employee of the Year. And retirees, Tina Davis and Donna Mann. From Killarn Lakes Elementary School, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator, Tamika Rump, Teacher of the Year and a finalist, Sherry Lawrence. School Related Employee of the Year, also a finalist, Kathleen Pester. And retirees, Gregory Brown, Sherry Brown, Karen Parsons, Kathy Preston. Leanne County Virtual School, Kelly Pagan, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Marie Pujols Lopez, Teacher of the Year, and Frida Jackson, School Related Employee of the Year. From Leon High School, Teacher of the Year, Josh Stewart, and a finalist and retirees, Larissa Anderson, Kenneth Brown, Matthew Guyton, Elaine Nicoloso, Arthur Skelly Jr. And next, Leon Regional Juvenile Detention Center. Eugene Hall is our Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator. And Rachel Navarro is our retiree. Lincoln High School, Melissa Melnikoff, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Virginia Orsillo, Teacher of the Year, Mika Walker, School Related Employee of the Year, and retirees Scott Blanche and Lance Lee. And Lively Technical College, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Jason Belcher. Teacher of the Year, Patricia Melhot, School Related Employee of the Year, James Strickland Jr. And our retirees, Jeanette Brewers, Randy Free, and Curtis Richardson. 
from our maintenance department, retirees, John Charles, George Gleaton, Walter Mickens, Michael Rines, and William Roberts. And from Monkford Middle School, Glenn Howard, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Whitney Yusina, Teacher of the Year, Joyce Madsen, and School-Related Employee of the Year, Amber Christian. From R. Frank Nims Middle School, Dr. Benny Bolden, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Kelsey Boyer, Teacher of the Year, Timothy Williams, School-Related Employee of the Year, and retirees Elizabeth Graham and James Love. We will continue our recognitions after uh, a special presentation from Mr. Rafael Vasquez, owner operator of JV and Sons Incorporated. Thank you, Mr. Vasquez. Well, hello everyone. Um, thank you for having me. My name is Rafael Vasquez. I'm a McDonald's owner operator franchisee here in Tallahassee, Florida. And um, I'm a proud uh, sponsor and business partner with Leon County Schools. Um, I just wanna thank all you educators out there for everything you do. I think there's a lot of appreciation now for what you do with uh, the parents having to fill in and, and do some stuff. Um, so hopefully there's a little bit of appreciation gained uh, throughout our community for all the hard work you do. But um, I'm here because uh, we've been making commitments over the last few years and I wanna let you know that we are following through on our commitment and we want to proudly provide a check for $1,000 for three of the winners. Um, and I wanna give your name and shout outs by name. Uh, Teacher of the Year, Trike White from Raw Middle School, and the school related employee, Sheila Raines, and the Glen Hell Distinguished Educator, Dr. Jasmine Smith. Um, I want you to know that my father and I were gonna provide you each with $1,000 to show our appreciation for all the hard work you do. And we wanna congratulate you for the great honor um, and all the hard work you've done. And I just wanna say thank you, and I look forward to another great year. Okay, now we'll continue with the next segment of introductions here in our winners. Oak Ridge Elementary School, School Related Employee of the Year, Tyree Searle. Teacher of the Year, Dewana Moore. And Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, and a finalist, Dr. Jasmine Smith. Pineview Elementary School. Tracy Nash, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year. Carlisa Johnson, Teacher of the Year. Sean Shanae Tinson, School Related Employee of the Year. And retirees Mary Baker, Joni Hartsfield, and Margie Harvey. Now, Augusta Raw Middle School, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Derek Martin Jr. Teacher of the Year, Trakia White. School Related Employee of the Year, Robin Paul, and retiree, Eli Williams, Jr. James S. Rickards High School, Robert McBride, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Roosevelt C., Teacher of the Year, Gregory Perkins, School Related Employee of the Year, and retirees, Samuel Hayes and Jacqueline Henderson. Riley Elementary School, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Shawantrez Daniels, Teacher of the Year, April Hill, and School Related Employee of the Year, and a finalist, Daisy Smith. And from Risk Management, Retiree Janet Heath. Roberts Elementary School, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Irma Siever. Teacher of the Year, Angeline Harry. School Related Employee of the Year, Felicia Wilson, and retirees, Dietra Kimmer. Lillian Rudiger Elementary School, Amanda Atkins, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Caitlin Payberg, Teacher of the Year, Katherine Johnson, School Related Employee of the Year, and retiree, Thomas Rollins. Sable Palm Elementary School, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Tamika Brown. Teacher of the Year, Valerie Ramos. 
School-related employee of the year, Sheila Raines, and retiree Judith Volpe. Sale High School, Rosa Safalu, School-related employee of the year, and Rob Pell, Teacher of the Year. School Improvement and Accountability, retiree Zoe Cooper. Sealy Elementary Math and Science Magnet School, Marlena Wims, Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year, Rachel Cassidy, Teacher of the Year, Kelly Tompkins, School-Related Employee of the Year, and retirees Ruth Lyle, Kathleen Morgan Landing, Jamie Morris, and Katherine Pack. Second Chance and AMI Kids. Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Orlando Birch. Teacher of the Year, Brenda Scott. School-Related and Employee of the Year, Myra King, and retiree, Robert Crawford. Springwood Elementary School, Danielle Vaughn, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Leanne Hewitt, Teacher of the Year, and Brownie Granny Joe Gilbreth, School-Related Employee of the Year. The Success Academy at Gasbini Learning Center, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Laura Nicole Houston, Teacher of the Year, Yeshiba Clay, School-Related Employee of the Year, Renee Brown, Retirees, Eva Ashmore, Tina Brown, Roxanne Riley. Swift Creek Middle School, Elizabeth Patterson, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Brian Howard, Teacher of the Year, Christina Campbell, School-Related Employee of the Year, and retirees, Catherine McCoy, Beverly Touchton, Tracy Tripp, and Mary Beth Williams. Technology and Information Services, retiree Lee Allen. From Transportation, retirees Glenn Camp, Julie David, Daisy Jones, Douglas Lundy, and Linda Shabazz. From W.T. Moore Elementary, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, Shirley Proctor-Paul. And Teacher of the Year, Cheryl Finkbeiner. And School-Related Employee of the Year, Mary Johnson. And last but not least, our last school with honorees is Woodville K-8. We have Yvette Thomas, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year. Virginia Prestia, Teacher of the Year and Hannah Albritton, School Related Employee of the Year. Congratulations to all of our honorees in all of our categories. Awesome. And now some special presentations. The superintendent is going to talk at the end of our ceremony about a special event that he has planned for us. But we will have presentations to make um, and I'm gonna turn it over to him for a presentation for our teacher of the year. Thank, thank, thank you, Dr. Gale. And again, again, a, a big thank you to you, your team, uh, Ms. Coffey, Susan Mayfield, and to my, to my wonderful, fabulous, amazing work wife, Sharonda Brown, who put this presentation together. Sharonda is a professional and she is a detailed person. So thank you, Sharonda, for all of your time, energies, and efforts uh, to make this a, a very special evening for our honorees. And yes, uh, we, you, Mr. Vasquez from McDonald's mentioned about the $1,000, right? In addition, the winners receive a, an additional $500. So all of our three winners are the Teacher of the Year, Glenn Howell, Distinguished Educator of the Year, and our School Related Employee of the Year will receive $1,500 in cash. Not bad, whoop, 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 right? There you go. And then our uh, finalists all receive uh, $250. And then finally, Ms. White, to our Teacher of the Year, what a great honor, uh, over 2,000 teachers in the Leon County school system, and you, uh, at my alma mater, Augusta Ralph Middle School, uh, are receiving this beautiful ring tonight. So Dr. Gale will have this uh, for you guys. 
she would like for all the people that have cash and the ring to come out and get that uh, as soon as possible. But in addition, we would like to have a drive through celebration party for everyone that was recognized tonight on Thursday, uh, June the 18th. Um, so we'll have it out here at the district office at 2757 West Pensacola Street. We'll have the umbrellas for our retirees and some other bling and, and goodies. So please come out Thursday morning, uh, June the 18th from 8.30 to 11.30. Uh, I'll be there along with uh, our administrative staff just again to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have given. Uh, and, and you and your family have, have given and sacrificed on behalf of our 32,000 children. It's, uh, it's been an interesting school year. None of us in a million years would have imagined uh, how, it, how it ended. Um, but, uh, but again, we, we pivoted to uh, Chair Rasmussen's point. I'm just, I'm blown away by the way you guys were able to adapt and to overcome. So I'm very thankful to be a part of this team and it truly is a team and it's a special place to be. I was born and raised in this community and this community is very special and it's because of people like you. So with that, Dr. Gale, uh, if you have anything else, but again, have a, have a great evening. The good, you're in the comforts of your home. I'm sure having a glass of sweet tea or maybe some other delicious drink is, as uh, Mr. Jones would say, and hold tight to your family. Please stay safe and uh, enjoy, your, enjoy your summer. Get some rest and relaxation and we'll be busy making plans for the opening of schools and hopefully returning our life and our school system to normal here in the very near, near future. So with that again, Dr. Gale, thank you and kudos to your, to your amazing team. God bless you and have a good evening. Bye, congratulations everyone.